come today out of the book of Psalms, one hundred and in my distress I cry unto the Lord, and He heard me. Then we're prefacing with St. Luke, the 22nd chapter, and in the 40th verse. And when he was at, at the place, he said unto them, Pray that you enter not into temptation. <laughs> and he were, was withdrawn from them about a stone's cast and kneel down and pray. And saying, Father, if, if, if thou wilt, remove this cup from me, but nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. Prayer in, in trouble. That is our, our, our text word today. Prayer in trouble. I want everybody to repeat that. Prayer in trouble. We are living in a time that we need to pray. Yeah. We need to pray. Yeah. We're living in a terrible age. We're living in an age where evil yeah. is all around. sinking fast. We live in an age where you just can't trust nobody. We live in an age it's dangerous to drive down the street in your automobile. I remember looking in my paper and reading a man was driving down the street, yeah. and a shot rang out in there, yeah. and the man was dead. Yeah. And they don't know who did. Yeah. But we're living in a dangerous age. Yeah. We're living in an age that the, the church ought to pray. Yeah. Yeah. The church ought to pray. Yeah. Instead of talking about each other so much, yeah. we need to stop and pray for one another. Yeah. Pray for one and another. Yeah. We ought to love each other yeah. as Jesus have loved us. Yeah. Then he gave his life. Yeah. Yeah that we might have a right unto the tree of life. Yeah. Prayer in a time of trouble. Yeah. Uh, if you notice, Abraham, he, he remembered to pray. Yeah. When the Lord told him that he was going, to destroy Sodom, yeah. that wicked city. Yeah. When Abraham thought about his nephew Lot, yeah. was down in that sin city. Yeah. And Abraham remembered to kneel and pray. Yeah. Pray for the whole city. Yeah. Lord told him if you find 
I will spare yes. that ship. Yes. But in the inventory was taken on that city yeah. by God. Yeah. Yeah. And there wasn't even found 50 righteous men. Yeah. And he told Abraham about it. Yeah. And then Abraham, he talked to God again. Yeah. He came down to 45. Yes, yeah. But they couldn't find 45. Yeah. It's good to know how to pray yeah. in times of trouble. Yeah. It takes a child that know God yeah. to know how to talk to him. Everybody don't know how to pray. But it came on down to 25. Yeah. But they couldn't find it. Yeah. Came on down to 10. Yeah. But they couldn't even find 10. Yeah. That, that, that was a terrible little town. Yeah. We have towns and cities today. Yeah. All right. Houston, Texas, uh -huh. Chicago, yeah. New York, yeah. Rosenberg, oh, yeah. Richmond, oh, yeah. Sugar Land, San Francisco, Sin City. But we said today, church, to pray. Yeah. It's time to pray now. Time is growing near. But God loved Abraham. For by faith he was called God's friend. He told Abraham, because of your sake, I will spare lots. And his, his family. But I must destroy Sodom. Talking about prayer here. Then we see another man knew how to pray. Old man Joe. Joe prayed. But he had obstacles in his life. His loved ones, they misunderstood it. Yeah. His friends turned their backs on him. But he knew how to pray. And here come his wife, come and turn with the devil in her. Said, why don't you curse God and die? Said, you talk as a foolish son. I would rather to go to curse today than I was born. He said, all the days of my party time, yeah. I will wait until my change comes. Yeah. Oh, yes, children, we got to wait on the Lord. Yeah. Some of us will kneel here and pray. Yeah. Ask God for something. Yeah. And we will get up off our knees trying to make the plans ourselves. Yeah. But when we ask God for something, wait on it. Wait on God. We see Hezekiah. Man was sick unto death. Laying on his bed. And the man of God, Isaiah, came and told him, said to get your house in order. Or you must die. Yeah. And Hezekiah was a praying child. Yeah. Turned his face over to the wall. Yeah. And he prayed. Yeah. And God had added 15 years yeah. on to his life. Yeah. It's good to be a praying child. Yeah. And Daniel was a praying child. When Daniel was carried from his homeland, yeah. from Jerusalem, yeah. over into the Chilean country, yeah. uh, he was in 
captivity and said that he would raise up the window and turn his face towards Jerusalem. And so, Jerusalem, my happy home, how long for thee? And he prayed three times a day. And God heard them. God heard him in the lion day. The lions was dangerous, fishers beasts. They had been starved for days. But God was able to lock the lion's jaw. Do you see what God will do for you? If you would only pray. We see a man named Jonah. Jonah had to pray. Help me, Lord Jesus. Jonah was in the belly of the wind. And Jonah said, I cried. I love the belly of hell. And God heard me. It's, it's, it, it's, it's time to pray now. And we see Paul and Silas bound in jail. In the Philistine jail. But prayer was needed. Baby, yeah. the Lamb of God. Yeah. 